Hi, third grade. This is unit eight, week three. This is your last week in unit eight. And here are the trick words that you should be practicing at home. Beautiful, great, two, Wednesday, example, our, trouble, and were. Let's look at the first page. It says, have your child circle the suffixes below and highlight or underline the letter that begins each suffix. If the suffix begins with a vowel, put a line through the silent E. Write the complete word on the line provided. Be sure to drop the E anytime you're adding a vowel suffix. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this on my screen is, sure, I will circle the suffix. Now, it's an S. That's a consonant suffix, so we're not going to drop the E. So you're going to write right here, giggles, G-I-G-G-L-E-S. Just attach that consonant suffix. Okay, let's go on down. We have the suffix E-R. Underline the first letter. That is an E that is a vowel suffix, so cross off this E, and we're going to drop it. Sizzle, sizzler, S-I-Z-Z-L-E-R. You don't want two E's together. Okay, then we have this one, circle the suffix, underline the first letter. It's a vowel, ing, drop the E then. And we have tickling, T-I-C-K-L-I-N-G. Okay, next one, circle that suffix, starts with a vowel, underline it, drop that silent E. Wiggled, W-I-G. G G L E D. Okay, next column, circle that suffix, underline the first letter. It's a vowel suffix, so cross off the silent E. Sprinkle, sprinkler, S P R I N K L E R. Okay, freckle, freckles. That's a consonant suffix that we just circled, so keep that E. F R E C K L E S. Little s. Circle that suffix, underline the e. Since it's a vowel suffix, drop that silent e. Okay, so L I T T L E S T. Crumble ing. Circle that suffix, underline the vowel. Since it's a vowel suffix, cross off that silent e. Crumbling. C R U M B. L-I-N-G. Drop that E completely. Okay, we have cuddle, cuddled. Circle that suffix, underline that E. It's a vowel suffix, cross it off. Cuddled, C-U-D-D-L-E-D. -D -D. And the last one here, pebble, pebbles. That's a consonant suffix, so we don't drop the E. It's Pebbles, P-E-B-B-L-E-S. Great work there. And let's go on to this second part. Proofreading sentences. Have your child look at the underlined words in each sentence. They're spelled incorrectly. Write the sentence correctly on the lines below. Checked for correct use of capital letters and punctuation and make sure you proofread carefully. Okay, we have Chad grumbles when he has to do his chores. All right, well, let's just, you're going to start with Chad with a capital C, like it was. That's a name. Now, this one's incorrect, so let's spell grumbles correctly. It's grum, G-R-U-M, Bull, B, that's a constant L-E syllable, so it's B-L-E, and they should not have dropped that E because it's just attaching a consonant suffix S. Okay, Chad grumbles when, now here's an issue because this H should not be capitalized in the middle of a sentence like that. That should be lower case. So when you write this sentence, Chad grumbles when he, lowercase h, has to do his, and I'll just fix chores down here. It's C-H-O, 
R E S for chores. Okay. And then please make sure, look at that punctuation at the end. It needs to be a period that you add there. Okay, number two, we have an issue at the beginning of the sentence. It needs a capital, capital T for the littlest child. We know the underlined word is spelled wrong, so we know how to spell little, L-I-T-T-L-E. And est is a vowel suffix, so you wouldn't keep the E in little. You would drop it, but est is E-S-T. You need one E in there. The littlest child is the last in the lunch line, not Lynn. So we want line, L-I-N-E. That's a vowel consonant E word. And you do, again, need a period to punctuate that sentence. Okay, and the last one to proofread. I, with a capital I, always, for that pronoun, am sick. Sick has a CK after that short vowel. I am sick of this drizzling cold fog. Okay, let's work on drizzling. Drizzle, mm, see how that's a consonant LE? Guess what I'm going to do just to go faster here? You can fix it on your paper, but that E should have been dropped before adding a vowel suffix. I am sick of this drizzling cold fog. And no, it's not a question. That's a statement. So you could either put an exclamation mark if you're saying, I am sick of this drizzling cold fog. I would probably just put a period there instead of the question mark because it is not asking a question. Okay, let's move on to the next page. Guess which one? Is it week, W-E-E-K, like there are seven days in a week? If it is, we're going to make it purple. If it's W-E-A-K, like you are weak from being sick, um, not feeling strong, we'll make it blue. Maybe it's meet, M-E-E-T, like you want to meet a person for the first time. Or M-E-A-T, what you eat, chicken, beef. Those are types of meat to eat. <laughs> All right, number one. Do you have a lot of plans for next week? That's talking about the time. W-E-E-K for number one. Number two. The weak man was crumbling from the weight of the boxes too heavy not strong enough that's this week number two is w-e-a-k number three these ladies at table seven want salad because they do not like meat they don't like to eat meat so that's m-e-a-t for number three and number four we will Let's say meet at his home. That means they will gather there. This one has two blanks though. So this one is we will meet or gather at his home every week. Mm. That one used two. And we're going to use that purple W-E-E-K to do the puzzles. Good. We will meet at his home every week to do the puzzles. And number five, this small blank runt puppy likes to snuggle. This small weak puppy. If it's a runt, it's the smallest one of the litter. And it usually takes a while to get stronger. This small weak runt puppy likes to snuggle. Excellent. Okay, down below you just have your sentences, four of them to create. So make one sentence for each sound alike word, use the word correctly, and demonstrate its meaning. Check for capitalization and punctuation as always. Okay, now we're going to just scoop the syllables and write each syllable on the line. Well, instead of writing, I'm just going to scoop. So just like this, um, Example, we have stumble, we have men, 
Chen mention? Did I mention? Um, we have a, that's open, bowl, consonant L-E. So you're going to separate them on the lines like that. We have, um, let me get my pen back here. There we go. We have no shun. We have strug gul. Okay, if you scoop them first, then you can maybe go back and do the um, writing of each syllable on the lines based on how we scoop them together. Okay, let me clear this and scooch up. So we're on vision next. Okay, I can fit them all on there now. Perfect. We have, mm, this one's tricky. Um, vis, we usually, vision. We have, I don't want to keep vi there because we don't say vision. That's why I'm keeping vision together. Okay. Then we have tremble, consonant L-E. We have bu, that's a long vowel, that's open. Bugle. We have ten. That one we can do that. And then keep S-I-O-N together. Tension, if you have tension or stress. Um, and we have dang. I'm going to keep that A-N-G, fang, ang together. Dang, ol, dangle. Okay, very good. Let's go to the next page where we have read each syllable, draw a line to connect the syllables to form real words. Hmm. Okay, so. Oh, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's try it. Um, they're going to be three syllable words. And then they want you, of course, to write the words on the lines below and practice reading them. Okay, so let's see. In, I know this one, in struck. Shun. Instruction. Let's change our color here to make a new word. Um, extension. If you need an extension or more time to do something or a hair extension makes it longer. Proportion. Proportion. Okay. Proportion. Um, if you do a proportion of your packet each night, then by the end of the week, it will be done. Okay, proportion. Okay, let's move on to this box here. Let's think, oh, you know this math word, sub -track -tion. subtraction. Subtraction. X pan. Oh, why isn't this dragging here? That's weird, huh? Expan shun. I wonder why that's not working. Expansion. If you um, something's going through an expansion, it's getting bigger. Okay, and let's try dicta shun. Really, since there's two shuns, T I O Ns, you could have done extraction. Actually. There's different ones that you could do here. You could do subtraction. Technically, extraction is a word if you get your teeth extracted or taken out. Hmm. So I'm going to stick with expand there, that expansion. Then that, that way there's all three get matched up there. So subtraction, expansion, that's S-I-O-N, and dictation. We know dictation dry erase from this. Okay, let's try this one. This is a challenge. Um, I know this one. Low K shun. That's the location of this. Our school is in Greensburg. Um, let's try this one. Sus. Ben shun suspension. OK, 
Okay, we need the S-I-O-N for that one, suspension. Um, and then adoption, that's not add. We kind of say, ah, uh, adoption. Okay, you can adopt pets, adopt children, adoption. All right, let's go to the last box here. Um, I know, I see this one jumps out at me. Emotion, T-I-O-M. Emotion, sadness and happiness. Those are both emotions. Let's do, I see this one now. Description, T-I-O-N. Except when you write that down below, you don't use two T's in the word description. Okay, so drop that one. Description. I usually do D-E, description. All right, and the last one there is e -ro erosion. Erosion, that's more of a science-y term. When things... Um, water will cause erosion of rocks, and that's actually how we get sand. All right, let's clear that. Make sure you write them all below on the lines. Those are some long words, good to practice. And the very last page for this packet is to mark them up. So we're going to scoop or underline um, and mark the syllables. Okay, it says box in the glued sounds T-I-O-N, vacation shun, or S-I-O-N, mansion shun. Okay, so let's see. We'll do one row at a time. We have so loo shun. Okay, we're going to box in T-I-O-N. I'm just going to see real quick if, yes, they're marking the syllable types in the example. So let's make sure we do that. So that's a long vowel. That's open. Lu, u is a long vowel. That's also open. Solution. Okay, then we have man shun. We're going to box in that. And we have a, this is a closed syllable. Technically, sometimes people box in a and fan an also. That's fine as well. We have x pan shun expansion x short vowel closed pan short vowel closed or box in a and fan an shun box in that glued sound too. Okay, we have a. Uh, Dop shun. Okay, box in that. This looks like it's an open syllable, but it's an open syllable exception, and that's a schwa sound. So we're going to put that upside down e. A uh, dop is um, short vowel closed. Adoption. Okay, we have in feck shun. T-I-O-N gets boxed in in that last syllable. And these two first syllables, in, fe, ek, those are both short vowels, so those are closed in. Okay, we have fic, shun. Fiction is a genre of books that are not true. Fic, shun. Okay, closed syllable there. Let me clear those and we'll go down to the last few rows here for these longer words. Notice how they're getting so much longer, huh? All right, we have tem. Mm, I don't like that. Clear that. We have temp. There we go. Te. Whoops. T A. And then shun. Box in T I O N. That's box, <laughs> not circle. It looks like a circle. Okay. Temp is closed. Te, notice that's long. Get the macron. And that's open. Okay. Vi, this one I have trouble with. Viz, it's like, um, because we don't say vision. So I'm going to keep that S there. I know 
That's tricky. That's it. We had that one earlier in the packet. But box in S-I-O-N, this really is a short vowel that's closed. Okay. We have E, Ro, Jun. Box in S-I-O-N at the end. E is long. That's open. Ro is long o it's open as well okay last row rev o lu wow shun four syllables box in t i o n at the end rev that's short closed o is long and open lu long open Revolution. Okay, we have con, few, whoops, jun, boxen, jun, that's like S I O N, television, jun, con is closed, short vowel, few though, you, 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 that's long, open. And the last one, re, lax, a shun, another four syllable one at the end there. Poxon, T I O N, vacation shun. We have re, long e, open, lax, short vowel closed, relax a, long vowel open, relaxation. Awesome job. Thanks for joining me.